Hey there, Excel enthusiast. In this video, we are diving into one of the most useful and versatile chart type in Microsoft Excel. The scatter plot chart or sometimes also known as XY chart. Scatter chart, I would say, are the great way for showing correlation between two sets of data and are widely used in data analysis. And in this video, we will be covering the basics of scatter chart then moving into more advanced variation like scatter chart with smooth line, scatter chart with straight line. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly when and how to use each chart type to get best insight from your data. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so first up here, you can see my computer screen and I already have created one such example where uh, you can see here um, if somebody study, let's say for two hours, um, we can see the tentative exam score that he can achieve. It's 60. Then we can see as the number of study hours increase, the probability of getting exam score for a particular student also increase. Now to understand the pattern between study hours and exam score, what we're going to do here is we're going to utilize scatter chart. And in this scenario, scatter chart is ideal for plotting the individual data point on a Cartesian coordinate system, making it super easy to visualize the relationship between both variables. And in this particular scenario, I think scatter chart is one of the best chart for plotting individual data point on a Cartesian coordinate system, making it super easy to visualize the relationship between two variables. Now to create the chart, first of all, let's select all this data including these headers, which is study hours and exam score. Now let's head over to insert tab. And then here we need to select for scatter chart. So here we have got this scatter chart. Let's click on it. And then um, let's select this first one. And instantly we see a chart where each point represent the student study time as well as the exam score. As we can see here, the data points are scattered across the chart but there seems to be some kind of clear and positive correlation between exam score which is represented by y-axis and study hours represented by x-axis and if you have seen our previous video you can always customize the chart by going here in chart design and format tab there you're gonna get tons of different different option to customize your chart so this is how we can plot scatter chart and can understand the correlation between study hours and exam scores. As you can see, if the student study for more number of hours, he will see increment in the exam score. Now, let me actually make it slightly smaller. Now, let's look at our chart number two, which is scatter with smooth line option. This chart is great when you want to not only show the individual data, but also emphasis on a trend in your data, okay? And for that, we're going to use the same data, which is study hours and exam score. This time, instead of simply plotting the points, we are going to connect them with the smooth lines to better show off the trends. So after selecting the data, we are here back again in insert tab and here in scatter plot. And this time I'm gonna choose smooth lines. Now here we can also see the trend line which shows the gradual upward trend highlighting that the more hours students spend in studying, higher their exam scores tend to be. This chart is perfect for visualizing trend when your data has some fluctuation but follow a general pattern. Now if I go back here again in scatter chart, not only you can see the smooth line but let's say you also would like to add marker you can go with this scatter with smooth line and marker. Then there is a third type of scatter plot that I'm gonna add it here. For that, let me again select all this data. Now let's go here in scatter chart. And this time I'm gonna select this type of scatter plot, which is scatter with straight line. That will show straight line instead of smooth curve and each change in study hours is directly connected to the resulting in change of these exam score.
Now there is one more type of scatter plot which is bubble type and in order to use bubble type of scatter plot what we need to do is we need to introduce third variable as it allow you to represent third variable by changing the size of bubble for example let's say we want to analyze the study hours exam scores and also the amount of time spent on additional tutoring so in this case the study hour will be plotted on x axis which is as usual and then exam score is on y axis and the size of bubble will represent the tutoring hours this gives a deeper look on the data by adding the third dimension of information and for that what i'm going to do here is i'm going to quickly add one more uh, column which is tutoring hours okay and that we were going to utilize to represent the bubble size so let's say uh, one hours of additional tutoring then in this case two hours three hours four hour five and six okay so um, these are the additional hours of uh, tutoring now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to select all three data okay now again let's go here on the top and click on insert then again we need to go to scatter chart now um, let's go for the bubble okay and now you see that each data point represented by a bubble the size of this bubble correspond to this third variable which is amount of additional tutoring hour one student have spent so two aspect we are already covering using this trend line and the third aspect or the third variable is being covered by the size of bubble the bubble chart is particularly powerful when you want to visualize the third variable at once it is an excellent way to add depth to your data analysis allowing you to understand not just the relationship between two variable which is exam score versus study hours but also how a third factor like tutoring in this case might influence the result and that's all guys from my side in this video we have covered basic scatter chart scatter chart with smooth lines plus with and without marker scatter chart with straight line again with and without marker and the powerful bubble chart each of these chart has its unique strength and depending on what you want to visualize and i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if so then please make sure to like and subscribe to office wise up for more such excel tutorial and data visualization tips also don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or idea for future videos thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one till then you take care and bye bye